kind of books do you write? Um, psychological drama, psychological thriller. I'm Emma Jansen. I'm an author. I also used to be a stripper. I was nervous for like a minute. And then I was like, yeah, get some. So here's where I got my name from. First day as a stripper, I go to work. The DJ was like, what's your name gonna be? But at the time, we were not allowed to share with the other girls what our real names were because some women, maybe they were business professionals during the day and then they did they moonlighted this at nighttime. Whatever your name was, that's what your name was. So I never knew any of the girls' names that I worked with, not their real names anyway, never, not one of them. What do you want your name to be? And I started saying all these names that I thought that I would like. And he told me I'm not allowed to have those names because I am not black. He said, no ma'am, that's not how this works. And I said, why can't I have that name? He was like, you're not black. And I'm like, my soul is, what? <laughs> What kind of music you gonna play for me? There's a Hawaiian girl over there and she chose the name Leilani. That fits, she's Hawaiian. I wouldn't give you the name Leilani because you're white. I didn't know there was this etiquette of racial stereotypical names for strippers that I wasn't allowed to dive into. Like, I didn't know. You better tell me what you want your name to be because you're going on stage in like two fucking songs. I'm like, oh my God, what do I do? What do I do? Germany, I lived in Germany for three years and I had a friend Shia, did you think of a name? And I was like, oh, Shia, uh, like nobody has that name. And he was like, Psh, okay. So it had nothing to do with being shy at all. That was my friend's name when I lived in Germany and I was like, fuck it, I guess I'm Shia. <laughs> I don't know. So my stripper name when I worked in the strip club in Las Vegas was Shia. And nice to meet you if you got a dance for me back then. <laughs> I hope my boobies were right in your face because that's where I intended them to be.